Hello, my dear friends, and today we're gonna talk about the Dynamo and Revit. So, you, as you understand, we have the different Revits, we have the different libraries in Dynamo, and how we can solve this problem. For in one Revit, you have the some libraries, on the another Revit, you don't have the libraries, which is using for your Dynamo script. No any cut up, it will save your time and uh, will solve this problem. Today, I wanna show you how it's working. It's really simple, it's really fast, and it's not will takes a lot of the time. So, if you will go to the Revit, you will see here is the your new tab, Nonica tab. If you will go inside here, the empty base where you can place here inside your Dynamo script. It will be work like the basic or any other basic tools in Revit. If you will open up this pop-up menu, you will see the set up the script. So it means you should create your Dynamo script or download it, for example, from the someone else and uh, just set up it here. Before uh, we will continue, I want to go to the Dynamo, just showing to you some idea. Here is, uh, I have have the simple script which is uh, using the some additional library so it's launch box here and uh, yeah here only launch box and rhythm if you don't have these libraries uh, the script not will be work I will run it just I want to show you how it works uh, on the Revit 2020 let me click one more time and yeah it's here working as you can see here the how many the furniture so it's a really simple script but it's using the additional library and now let's set up the here the uh, to the this tab my the new script here is my dynamo scripts i will go inside there and here's you can see furniture tab and dynamo file it's here let me will open up it it's automatically will choose some of the icon you can change it you can set up the icon here the blue green purple let's say the blue one it's already by default from the nonica let's change for example to this something else and let's set up details so we can here for example uh, create the shortcut for this uh, your or tool let's say and we can change the name of that and of course description you can write here anything what you want so i will leave as it is but if you want you can change of course and create the short shortcut let's say i will apply it and it's already here i don't have any dynamo right now i already closed all dynamo let me will click on that uh, now you need the time to the Dynamo opening on the background. Once it will be opened on the background, it will be working really fast. It was opened on the background and uh, it was done. As you can see, it's working. And here the Nonica saying us, uh, I already done. Okay, it's working perfectly. What's going on in the different version of the Revit? I mean, uh, Revit without the same libraries. Uh, here I have already opened my the Revit 2023, the new one. I will go to the manage and uh, first I will show you Dynamo so I want to show you that I don't have uh, any libraries here yeah, much interesting thing because I didn't open the new Dynamo in this version let me will open it up and here even the instruction as you can see it's the first time when I'm opening the Dynamo in 2020 2023 Revit so let me will create the new uh, one and let's see what the add-ins we have here the generative design and Revit so as you can see I don't have any additional library as I was have there on the 2020 so it means we exported all the packages which is we will need in Revit 2023. I will go to the Nautica tab and I will go here to the settings. Let me go settings. Actually, this screen is really big. I cannot um, I cannot change the size of it. So maybe this is one of the minus, but uh, it's not so painful. Okay, here I have the, uh, as you can see, possible place where I can allow my um, some dynamo code but I want to import the all the my tab from the 2020 when I will say open as you can see it will be importing the all the packages and some uh, some already nodes and it's already here as you can see it was already here but uh, one more time uh, I just importing it here and let me will click on it and as you can see it again dynamo uh, starting working on the background once it will done it will be the result will be here uh, no worries uh, when you next time for example need to uh, click on that it will be working really fast and you no need to do anything so it's working really fast so what nonica tab actually doing you can use it uh, instead, for example, Dynamo Player. If you will go here, here is, you will find the Dynamo Player. And Dynamo Player is uh, 
a bit hard to understand, for example, for the architects. Architects really like when, for example, you have only the some, uh, let's say, the magic button, which is you can click and everything will be done. But uh, when you have the Nonica, for example, you, uh, I don't know, you collaborate so with uh, Dynamo and with the simplest uh, in one place. So you can place your, here your Dynamo script, they will click and they will get result. Uh, yes, uh, instead of that, you can create, for example, like I did my Python, uh, the my Python tab, for example, like here. But it's the, the, for creating this one, you need special knowledge, uh, not like programmer. I'm not saying that, but you need actually the some knowledge how it's working. Um, with the Nonica, you if you know the Dynama, done. I think you, it will be uh, useful really for you. So if you want to try it, uh, the link you will find below this video, try it. It's really nice things. Uh, and uh, if you are already using it, uh, let leave the, some comments and maybe you have some suggestions for the uh, after who did it. Uh, maybe he will improve it more. But uh, don't forget about one thing. Simple, it doesn't mean easy. And this is what I want to say about Nonica. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.